What's up? Uh, welcome to the challenge 10 for the Lighthouse Labs 21 day coding challenge. I am Nima Boscarino. I'm the instructor in Vancouver. This is... I'm Charlotte Dibb. I'm a student here at Lighthouse Labs. Yes. And today the two of us are going to walk through challenge 10 for the 21 day coding challenge. So at this point you've dealt with all kinds of stuff. You've dealt with loops, functions, you've dealt with if statements, variables, all kinds of things. I'm going to be playing with more of that today. So, Charlotte, at this point in the story, uh, we are implementing our um, smart city plan across the city since we got elected last week. As, um, well, thank you very much. As uh, mayor of Codeville. So what we're going to do here um, is implement uh, a smart parking system for one of the parking lots in Codeville. And we'll take a look at the code here. What we have, what we have is a parking lot where when a car arrives, the car can, or the vehicle can either be a regular car, a small car, or a motorcycle. And the parking lot will look at the type of car that it is, or type of vehicle that it is, and it'll look at all the spots that are available in the parking lot. So here's uh, the spots, for example. And their spots are on array of... Arrays. They're an array of arrays, also known as a nested array. So what we're going to have to do is deal with this nesting situation. So there's this array of arrays where each entry in here is going to show me uh, the letter S, the letter M, or the letter R. Right? And in some cases it's capitalized, and in some cases it's uh, small. So what do you think S stands for? I'm going to go with small. Small? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think M stands for? Maybe medium. Mm, no, good try, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle. And what do you think R stands for? Regular. <laughs> regular, yeah. So uh, we have small motorcycle and regular spots in the parking lot. And specific cars can par park in specific spots. For example, a regular car. And maybe we'll write this down inside of here just so we don't forget. Um, a regular car can park in, oops, um, can park in regular spots. Uh, we can have uh, small cars and they can park in regular and also small spots. Um, and then we have motorcycles and motorcycles can park anywhere. Uh, they can park in regular, small or uh, motorcycle spots. So motorcycles can go pretty much anywhere. The thing is it, none of these vehicles can park in any of the spots that are full. So when a spot actually has space, it's capitalized. Now when it's lowercase, it means somebody's already parked there. So that's the thing we have to do. We have to, when we're given a car or a vehicle, like in this case, uh, regular, we have to see if there's a spot. And if there is a spot, then we're gonna return it as an X, Y coordinate, where X is gonna be how far from the left is it? So zero, one, two, three, like that way. And then Y is gonna be how far from the top are you? So zero, one, two, three, like that, downwards. If there aren't any spots, then we'll return false. <laughs> okay, so what do you think the first thing that we might try out? I feel like we're gonna have to loop. I feel like we're gonna have to loop. Yeah. So the thing is, we have to like look through all of the spots. Right? And whenever I think through, I think loop. So I might go here and I might say, well, let's loop four. And I'm going to want to say some stuff in here. I want to loop through each of these basically lists of spots. So the thing that's interesting about our spots array is that it's not a regular array. It's an array of arrays. So I can say spots, um, something like this, spots zero, that's going to get me this whole thing. If I wanted just that one right there, then I would have to say spot zero and then zero again like that. So we're going to need two loops likely. We're going to go four, um, let, and this first loop is going to go downwards. So we're going to do the y equals zero, one, two, three. We're increasing in the y direction. So for let y equals zero, while i is less than spots dot length, uh, whoops, y, not i, 
And then how do I end this loop? Going to increase y by 1 each time. Yeah, y plus plus. Cool. And then in here, if I wanted to check to see if this is doing anything, I can go console log, and then I just want to see what spots y is. Um, and I could even write an extra, like a word here, it goes spots. Um, just so that I print out the word spots as well. So I run this, and over on the side, every single time I'm looping, I get one new list of spots. Wow. Wow. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> very cool. Now, let's say that I want to loop inside of each one of these individual lists of spots. Um, what do you think I'm going to have to do? I think it's going to be another loop mm -hmm. inside the other one. Another loop inside of the other one. Like nested. Nested. A nested for loop. And so to deal with our nested arrays, we're going to have to have a nested for loop to go inside. So this loop here, uh, this one's going to go through each of these elements that way. Right, so we're going to be increasing in the x direction. So I'm going to say something like for let x equals 0, uh, while x is less than. And then do I write spots.length? Is that the way that I'm going to be dealing with this? No. What do I do? You're going to do spots at y, so that outer array. Hmm, spots at y. So the particular list of spots, that's the one that I'm lo looping through. And then x plus plus. So then what I can do in here is uh, console.log, maybe not spots, but spot. And we're going to see what happens when I get spots y and then x. So this one says go into the particular list and then grab that particular item. And we could run this and see I'm getting spot, 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 spot. Wow. We're looking at each individual spot. Wow, very cool. So if we want to find if there's a spot for the particular vehicle, we take our finger and we go through each one of the spots. Um, if we find the spot where it can park, what should we do? Return that spot. Cool. Do we need to continue looking once we've found the right spot? No. No, we don't need to continue looking. So when we find the spot, we return. What happens if we look through the whole list and we don't find anything? Going to want to return false. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be at the end of the outside for loop. Right? This means if I ever get to this code, it means I never found a spot. So I can say false. And somewhere in here, I'm going to have uh, a return statement. Right? We'll, we'll write this for real in a second a return statement to return the spot if I find it. OK, so we've got ourselves set up real well. We're looking at each individual spot. How do I check to see if that spot, um, if that spot is going to be good for my kind of vehicle? I think we're going to have to use an if statement. We're going to have to use an if statement. Now, we actually wrote something very similar to if statements earlier before with these little comments here, um, which said, this is what we do for a regular car, this is what we do for small cars and all that, we can actually take this and turn it into an if statement. For example, if my vehicle is a regular car, um, there's a specific set of things that I should do. Um, else if my vehicle is a small car, uh, then there's another set of things. And then else if my vehicle um, is a motorcycle, Motor, motor cycle, motorcycle, um, then there's another set of things to do. And what is it specifically like that uh, a regular vehicle can park in? A regular spot. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to want to check um, if the spot is a regular spot. Now, I don't want to keep writing spots yx over and over again, so I'm just going to make a variable for myself. Um, I'm going to go as const spot equals spots y and x. So then here I can say, if my spot is a regular spot, so how do I check to see if it's a regular spot? What letter should it be? If it's a capital R, mm -hmm. that's free. Capital R, boop. Um, then I might return, so if I found a good spot for that, I might return um, an array, where that array is going to say x, comma, y. Because I want to return the x and y coordinate. And I could test this out. This is, this is enough for me to start testing something. Um, I have this spots array. If I have a regular vehicle, where should it be able to park here? In the regular spot that's <laughs> down there. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> down there. Uh, so this one right here, right? Meaning from the top, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And from the right, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Conveniently, 4, 4. Right? Oh, so the x is 4 and the y is 4. 
So let's see. When I when I return that and I have the thing console logging, do I get the right value? And I did at the bottom get four four. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Um, if I didn't have that spot, like say say this one here wasn't there, right? Like it was full, or maybe if it was a motorcycle spot or something. Notice how there isn't another R, like a capital R. So I should return false because it can't find a spot for a regular vehicle, and we got false. Woohoo! Yeah, beautiful. And now we just kind of get to do the same thing for the other ones, right? So instead of um, looking for R for our small cars, it's going to be R or S. Or S. So I get to say or spot equals S. Right? And then what about for the motorcycles? If it's spot is R, S, or M. Mm -hmm. And then I get to go or spot but equals M. Right? And then I can test this out too if I'm doing like this in REPLIT. Um, when you're working in the 21 day coding challenge, uh, there's tests for each one of those things, so you can just click test and it'll test it for you. Um, but in my case here, I'm going to change this to say, um, you know, motorcycle. And ideally, I would think that it should find the first spot that it can fit in, which should be that one. Right? So I'm expecting um, 0, 1 for x, and then 0, 1 for y, so 1, 1 should be my answer. So I run, I got 1, 1. Yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just remove that console log statement so that I don't get all those spot, 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 spot. And I run. And we're always getting the right thing now. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and that concludes our uh, solution for the 21 day coding challenge for challenge 10. And the main thing to kind of look at here is we're dealing with nested for loops to deal with nested arrays. And then we've got a bunch of if conditions um, to make decisions. Great. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Hit that notification bell. Yeah, and uh, keep coding. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. See you later, coders. Enjoy the rest <laughs> of the 21 Day Coding Challenge. I'm Nima Voscrino, uh, instructor for Lighthouse Labs, and you were? I'm Charlotte Dibb, yeah. student at Lighthouse Labs. Excellent.